there and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. Today we're just going to do a quick video. I'm going to show you how to clean up the plastic container of your blender. Uh, they can get foggy. Now this will have no impact on the performance of your blender or the flavor of your food, but if you're like me, you like everything in the kitchen to be nice, nice. So we're going to clean this up. All you need is some detergent, dish detergent, white vinegar, hot water, and let's get started. Just gonna pour some water and spill it all over the counter into the container. I want more. going to fill it about halfway. All right. Then just a couple of drops of dish detergent. And depending on how foggy your container is, you can use plenty. Uh, I mean, I would use up to a cup. I'm just going to, that's probably about half a cup because this one's not too bad. And if you're wondering how they get this way, it's a reaction to certain foods that you put in here. Um, so the best way to avoid it is to give it a thorough cleaning right after you use it. And I mean, right after you use it. I use this every morning for my morning smoothie and I, I'm not gonna clean it as soon as I make the smoothie because I wanna drink my smoothie. So sometimes it sits dirty for a couple of minutes or all day. Depending. All right. Now, your blender may have a cleaning function on it. Mine does. If it doesn't, just run it on high for uh, a few minutes. This is super loud. So while I run mine through its self-cleaning feature, please enjoy this musical interlude. done. I don't know if you can see it, but it already looks better. But I want it super clean. So I'm just going to let it sit like this. You could leave it for an hour. Best is overnight, actually. Um, but just to demonstrate, I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this for an hour. And then we'll come back, dump it out, rinse it out, and you'll see how beautiful it looks. She's been soaking. Now we just empty it out, give it a good rinse. And be careful because the blades are very sharp. And there it is. Good as newish. What I would suggest is after you run it, this is such a noisy drain, after you run it uh, in the machine with the soap, water, and vinegar, then I would fill it all the way to the top with hot water and let it sit like that and leave it overnight if you can. It really does work better. If you have found this video to be helpful, and I sure hope you did, please consider becoming a subscriber. It's very easy and it's free. You just hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment for me. I love to hear from you. And give me a thumbs up. Join me again right here next time at home with Anita Rosner. 
Thanks for watching.